Hey guys, now most of you probably heard about the story of Sir Isaac Newton. You know the story when he was sitting under an apple tree and then an apple fell on his head and that caused him to come up with a universal law of gravitation. According to that law, any two bodies attract each other with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Yeah, I have no idea what I just said. All I know about gravity is that it's supposed to keep us on the ground and the fact that what goes up must come down and if I lean over too much, I'm gonna fall over. But there are places on Earth where this law doesn't apply. Number one, the mystery spot, Santa Cruz, California. The mystery spot is a gravitational anomaly located in the Redwood Forest just outside of Santa Cruz, California. The unexplained phenomenon occurs in a circular area that is 150 feet in diameter. Now within the mystery spot, your perception of the laws of physics and gravity uh, are kind of questioned. So here is me performing my anti-gravity trick. The mystery spot was discovered in 1939 by a group of surveyors who opened the area up to the public in 1940. Check me out again right here. I mean, I wish I could do that everywhere. Number two, Spook Hill in Lake Wales, Florida. Now gravity hills where cars appear to defy the laws of gravity exist all across the globe. Spook Hill is somewhat unique in that it's officially recognized by the town. There's a large sign on North Wales drive explaining the legend of Spook Hill and how to experience the effect. Now legend has it many years ago an Indian village on Lake Wales was plagued by a massive gator. The chief, a great warrior, killed the gator in a battle that created a small lake. Pioneer male riders first discovered their horses laboring downhill, thus naming it Spook Hill. When the road was paved, cars actually coasted uphill, and locals believe this is caused by the spirits of the gator, or the chief, or both. Number 3. St. Ignace Mystery Spot in Michigan In the early 1950s, three surveyors named Clarence, Fred, and McCray came from California to explore the Upper Peninsula. They stumbled across an area of land where their surveying equipment stopped working properly. As they continued their research of this land, they they noticed a constant feeling of being lightheaded. Later, realizing their queasiness and problems with surveying equipment only occurred in an area about 300 feet in diameter. They felt they had discovered a mystery spot. Within its boundaries, a tall person seemed smaller by comparison. You could sit on a chair with its back legs balanced on a beam and front legs suspended in the air. Now, if I can find a mystery spot that will make me seem taller, then I'll just go and like live there. Number four, House of Mystery at Gold Hill, Oregon. The House of Mystery or the Oregon Vortex is a gold essay office built in the area in 1904. It slid from its foundation in the early teens, coming to rest at an odd angle. The Oregon Vortex is famous for height changes, as the relative height of the two people changes varying on where they stand. People have claimed that when bringing horses or other animals to the vortex, they would reverse an attempt to get away. The Oregon Vortex explains that not many animals live in this area due to this strange phenomenon. What's also creepy is that the Native Americans call the area the Forbidden Ground, a place to be shunned. Number five, Cosmos Mystery Area, Rapid City, South Dakota. The Cosmos of the Black Hills was discovered in 1952 by two college guys looking for a place to build a summer cabin. When they entered this area, they experienced a slight unbalance, which increased considerably on entering the old house. The guys were intrigued and camped on site while they investigated this odd phenomenon, which later became the Cosmos Mystery Area. In this mystery area, besides the typical water rolling uphill, tennis balls when thrown will change its trajectory in midair. Of course, the typical explanation for all these mystery spots is that they're all optical illusions. But I choose to believe that something else is causing all these phenomena. For example, optical illusions can cause surveying equipment to malfunction. It can cause animals to be afraid of a certain area. And you know, the biggest mystery spot of them all, the Bermuda Triangle, to this day still cannot be explained. So in conclusion, I believe there are more to mystery spots than just pure optical illusions. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And guys, don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you again next time.